You see the picture? We ain't even got to talk about it. Sam Smith being weird again? Y'all know how it goes. This man is completely off his rocker. My name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? Sam Smith once again doing his dirty deeds. Once again, guys, I told you that this man, this man has fallen off. Okay? Not by the standards I'm saying he's a terrible singer because Sam Smith can sing. We all know he can sing. Let's not be wild about this stuff. But at the same time, he is clearly either seeking attention, having a mental breakdown, or both. You know what I mean? Because what would cause a man to go from just a normal, everyday gay guy, right? That's what he called himself, to a non-binary. And I'm going to have to turn this song off because I don't want to get copyrighted again for his song. But here we go. I'll sing it for you. I'm just kidding. Uh, <clears throat> so here you see Sam Smith again. Once again out here just being like this isn't gay this is completely sexual deviancy and y'all gonna see how this ends please if you're eating please put your food up or i hope it's digested by now but here we go here we go with the butt cheeks yay and if y'all can i want y'all to hear this part i want y'all to hear the crowd Let me, like, like, ask yourself, ask yourself, what makes this man, or like, what makes you cheer to be like, because, <laughs> I mean, even when a female does that, Lizzo, your Doja Cats, and all these girls when they twerk, I mean, like, what, I don't get, like, why you clap for that, are you like, yeah, baby, show me that sexual deviancy, I want to see butt cheeks move, because when Ice Spice does it, Nicki Minaj does it, and they're on stage, and they twerk, it's just like, like at the end of the day it's kind of like what are you even cheering for at this point it's not like he was singing it's like he said oh i mean i could get that but just showing butt cheek shaking i actually question that now that i'm really sitting back and thinking about it why do we clap for such things like that tell me if you were at a concert and i know some of you guys go to concerts if you were to watch a person twerk like this not just sam smith i'm talking about even a female what does it signify in you to clap like, what are you praising? Okay? Like, what we're seeing happening to Sam Smith, what are we happy about? Like, if we were, I mean, if we were to watch him, there's nobody going, hey, Sam, what are you doing? Like, at what point are you even going to his concerts for? Maybe I can understand liking his singing, but if you had to get his singing, plus the debauchery and the Satanism and all that kind of stuff, like, at what point do you go, okay, I mean, come on, Sam. And if you are, and if the people, what kind of people do you think are celebrating this? Like, what do you think they want the world to be? Like, really, like, ask yourself, like, if a person is celebrating Sam Smith going down this path he's gone down, like, you know what's so crazy? And we're going to talk about this a little later, okay? And I'll get into this more. But when you watch what's happened to Britney, who has obviously had a lot of bad things happen to her, okay? And there's a lot of speculations and maybe some proof and facts that, you know, she's obviously uh, been forced into this mindset she has. She's obviously had a mental breakdown. Some of the medication she was taking has caused her to go completely bonkers, right? But when we look at Britney Spears, we go, God, help her. But when we look at somebody like Sam Smith, we go, God, he's great. Like, so what is the difference between what Sam Smith was when he first started out singing great music, singing great things, and go from that to putting on 30 to 40 to 50 pounds and decided to put on fishnets and start shaking his booty? Nobody thinks that we should be saying save Sam Smith. Why do we scream save Britney and not save Sam? Like, we clearly see something's going on. And even if y'all want to just say, oh, he's just trying to get attention, that's all. Even if that's the point, don't you think this is a little far? He was already a great singer. What would cause him to say, I need more attention? Was it a loss of money? Did he just lose his mind? Did he go through a breakup? Like, we don't even ask those questions. We just go, yep, accept it. Because I don't rare, I rarely ever see a video on Sam Smith. I see everybody talking about Britney. I don't see nobody saying nothing about Sam. I just don't get it. What makes him so special that he is above anytime, anytime, anytime we see people do this now, right? Anytime we see somebody devolve into this, tell me if this was a little Uzi, would you say anything? If this was 
Kodak Black, would you say anything? If Taylor Swift started dressing like this and wearing fishnets, her fans would be all over it. Why is Sam Smith's fans so quiet on this? Don't they go, man, my man has fallen. He's breaking down. And when we see people, we see Doja Cat do this too. When we see people start trying to push into the Satanism, we see little Uzi do this too. Kind of push into that, I'm going to be controversial, so I'm going to wear Satan stuff. Why don't we ask questions then? Like, what would possess a person, even if they're just trying to be controversial and stir the pot and maybe get more eyes on them in publicity, at what point do we say to ourselves, hmm, maybe there's a problem with this person? Because if your best friend, let's say you had a friend who one day was living life, you know, uh, uh, y'all chilling, having a good time, drinking coffees, y'all hanging out every day. But then slowly, over time, you start seeing your friend just kind of start wearing, you know, shady things, you know? And then next thing you know, they're kind of talking about, you know, being more sexual. Then they start talking about Satan a little bit more, even as a joke. And the next thing you know, they walk up to you, they turn around on you, they walk up to on stage, and they just show you their butt cheeks, and they just start shaking butt cheeks for you. At what point do you say, okay, my friend, my friend has fallen deep. When you see your friend, your best friend doing this, at what point do you go, whoa, 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 let's take a step back. But I don't really see anybody coming out. We're going to read a couple comments on this and just, just see, what, see what's popping. <clears throat> He, he sent in for shock value. Ignore the satanic fat booty so he'll go away. This is my only answer. <laughs> this is Gabriel. It's one of the angels. Bleach. I don't listen to his music, but I don't. But I worry about people who do. Don't stand for, for him for the start. Okay. Unless you have a fetish for soul decay, Sam Smith's per, aren't even appropriate for adults. I would completely agree. Right, I'm actually horrified, so distasteful. Now, this person, remember, they're, they're commenting on somebody who's against this, so these comments are going to be against Sam. Can people just be gay without being perverted? It's a bad look. They can't. That's what sucks. No pun intended. Please don't bend over. Please don't bend over. Please don't bend over. Now, this person looks weird. This person's, this performance should turn a lot of people asexual, so at least their numbers are getting pumped up. It is not. He and a bunch of people around him look like pedophiles. Ah oh boy, it's just a it's just a real wild life going on right now. Y'all let me know what y'all think about Sam Smith, man. Is he has he lost his mind? Is it just for publicity? And if it is just for publicity, ask yourself once again, why? Like why be this controversial? Don't you think something mentally has to be going on? This is Trey Head with the news. Wouldn't it be cool if I had like a Fox thing come up and it's just like. I don't know. I'm out of here. Bye.